human and a true scholar. You know, I, that's why I like working with people with you. You're, you're, you're just a man of integrity, and I, and I can appreciate that. And, and also, I know that you're working a lot and you've got a lot of time and, and you know, you and your family, you're a real good family, man, I can tell. Just the fact that you want to put your mother-in-law uh, in a house uh, just says a lot about you, Joe. I'm looking forward to meeting with you. I'm going to have some, uh, some, some documents for you. As a matter of fact, I'm going to send you some things beforehand that you can check and uh, so that we'll be prepared when we meet. Okay, sounds good. Hey, listen, I've got to go pick up my wife from Taekwondo. She's breaking boards again. Uh, listen, I'll, I'll, uh, I, I'm sure we'll, I'll, I'll look forward to Monday. Bye bye. Click. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And you did well. You did well. You start. You hung in there. You were trying to solidify the appointment. You were trying to get me to make a personal righteous commitment. I like that. But what uh, you spoke to him on what day though? Was it oh, Friday, Thursday or Friday? Yeah, for, I think it was Friday. And you set up a meeting for when? Tuesday. Tuesday. How many hours is that? Who's good at math here? How many? What is that? One, two, three, four. Is that five? five 96. Four, four days, 96 hours. Yeah. That's, that's 24 times five days or something like that. That's 125 hours approximately. Okay. What can happen in 125 hours? A lot. God <laughs> could create the earth again. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he even took a day off, you know? <laughs> okay. Here's the point. When you, um, you're, you're, um, you, you're married, aren't you, Tracy? I believe you are, right? When you Absolutely. went out to that, you took out, you were in your SEAL uniform, and you took out the future Mrs. Phillips on that really great date. You guys laughed. You opened up a bottle or two of wine. You laughed. You smiled. You walked her back to her house and everything and she closed her eyes and tilted her head and you shook her hand and went home didn't you <laughs> no <laughs> you got to ring the bell tracy put her there <laughs> i did not i did not <laughs> ding 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 okay <laughs> training's my, over <laughs> i'm a roman i'm a romantic okay so what's my point there why did i why you you took an action, uh, uh, you know, between two consenting adults. You kissed the girl, uh, or she kissed you. Um, the thing about it is, did you say, "Hey, you know what? Um, I'm going to come back Tuesday." Uh, will that fit with your in your schedule? And and or you did what you had to do. My, I guess my point is, you had a client, a potential client, who was at least a six or a seven. Is that fair? Yeah, it was. It was fair. Why didn't you go for it right then and there? Why didn't you say, you know what? This is great. I want to start working on this marketing. Mr. Let's role play. Mr. Phillips, I'm going to work on this marketing plan right now. I know you want to sell a home. I know you want to get top price. I've got the time right now because I just had a cancellation. I'm a busy guy. I'm going to work on this marketing plan right now. I'm going to set up the paperwork and everything. I'm going to put in 5, 10, 15 hours on this thing. Um, is it possible we could have a meeting on Zoom or on Skype or uh, uh, let me buy you a cup of coffee. I can be in your neighborhood this afternoon. Or would you, how would you, do you like beer, sir? Oh. <laughs> Coronado, uh, you know where the Coronado Brewing Company is on Orange Avenue? Yeah, yeah, I do. Let me, uh, why don't you and your, your girlfriend come and join me. Let's have a beer or two. Let's talk. If you like what I have, I'll lay out a marketing plan. I'll bring the paperwork that I spent many hours working on. We'll have some, uh, we'll have something to eat, a couple beers. And um, if you like what I have, great. We'll move forward and get this house sold. If not, you can fire me on the spot. Fair? Oh, well, you know what? I got to, Claude, I, I got, I got to talk to my wife. I don't know what her schedule is, but I can probably get back to you and let you. Honey, know can you cancel a taekwondo and so we can meet Mr. Phillip and have some beers and and help him sell the house? And my wife just said yes. Why don't you check with your wife? I'll call you back in an hour. <laughs> I, you, I may not be able you. to get in contact with my wife, uh, Claude. Oh well, you know what? I want to get going. You, you know, you, you expressed to me how urgent this is. No oh, baby's crying. Um, not anymore. I muted. Um, you expressed to me, there's an urgency here, right? You need to sell this house. You want to buy another house. You're moving. You got a job change, a career change, financial, ch this or that, uh, you know, you'd rather see this house. Would you like to see this house sold before Thanksgiving? 
I mean, yeah, is that possible? Like, absolutely. Suppose I said yes, if I get to work today. Can I get to work today? Because Can I start doing this work? I'll send you the paperwork it's through DocuSign. Can you get that back to me this afternoon? Because under the laws of this great Soviet socialist state of Southern California, I have to, I have, to have some documents to represent you. And I'll get to work right away on this. Can we move forward here? So to get this thing sold, possibly before Thanksgiving? I mean, that's what my wife was talking about. She's talking about that she, she wanted to get her mom I'll, in the place. Let's, let's go. Let me, send you the, let me send you the paperwork. I still want to meet with you either later today or tomorrow morning. See your beautiful house. Let me get you the paperwork. Let's get this thing going. Or I'll bring it over personally to your house this afternoon. You decide. Uh, I, I think we'll probably do it sometime this evening. I'll be, I'll come over. You'll have pizza or Chinese food? <laughs> Uh, pizza. That's easy. Pizza. You got it. With or without anchovies. I love the little fishies. I don't do anchovies. Okay, I'll hold the anchovies. I'll see you at six o'clock. I'll bring some wine, some pizza, and we'll decide to move forward. Okay? Sounds good. Sounds good. Boom. Let me ask you a question. You're still on sodium pentothal and two uh, Canadian clubs on the rocks, okay? Um, are you a nice guy? I am. Okay. The trouble is when you're too nice, I think being assertive is not necessarily a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Why did I buy those socks? You know, fun guy, got my attention, made me laugh. He's a professional comedian, by the way, the guy who I bought the socks from. And then he said, you know, you buy four pairs, you get the fifth free. And I said, honey, we've got to buy four pairs, five pairs. You got the fifth one free. Because uh, I like the guy so much, I wanted her to buy socks. Would you, if you could go back in the time machine, and I'm not trying to belay this role play, but I think it's important. Can you, would you, would you go for it a little stronger than you did this, did you, than you did last time? I, absolutely. I I just, uh, I was thinking, set this appointment, you'll have something coming up in the next week. And uh, I wasn't seeing the, the, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the prospect goes dark on you. <laughs> what is the, um, what, what is it called? On text message. <laughs> what, what's the, what is it called? The Peter principles? If something goes wrong, it will go wrong. What is that? Is Murphy's that it? law. Murphy's, Murphy's, Murphy's law. law. Thank you. If something will go wrong, what can go wrong in 125 hours with a, with a hot prospect? A lot. Everything. So you've got to go in your mind, I'm going to lose this guy by Tuesday. He's going to find another agent. Cousin Harry is going to call me up and say work with his son who just got his real estate license. Uh, mm -hmm. You're going to see an ad in the paper and talk to a different agent who's going to be more aggressive than you. You've only got, sometimes you've only got 180 seconds to kiss the girl or to get the contract. Sometimes you gotta you, go back to the chapter. You gotta go back to the chapter in the book on chutzpah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember the, uh, you remember <laughs> chutzpah just defined by, remember the uh, Menendez brothers up in Bel Air, the really rich family and the two brothers murdered the mother and father in bed. They shot mm -hmm. them. Yeah. And they pleaded mercy on the court because now they were orphans. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, There's, there was another one, uh, somebody did a Twinkie defense. They said they were eating so much junk food that they lost control of their, their conscience. And so they- Wasn't that Jeffrey well. Dahmer? <laughs> I, don't, I don't yeah. Well, he was on an all meat diet, as I recall. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, that's horrible. That is the worst. Oh, I'm taking that out of the recording.